Guys, quickly before I do begin today's video, I want to let you all know I am hosting a giveaway of two different $100 scrolls to two lucky winners. You do not want to miss out on this. This is a really huge giveaway. All you have to do to enter is follow the rules on the screen, like the video, comment down below your simplicity IGN, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would, turn on the post notification bell to never miss an upload or new video. This is one of the biggest RSPSs out there, so you do not want to miss out. Make sure and watch it all the way through and enjoy. Come on, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yo, Anna, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Rekchu, and welcome back to another video. As you can all tell right now, today we are on Simplicity RSPS, which is one of the biggest RSPSs out there right now. We are currently holding over 200 players at the moment, 214. What really amazes me about this server is that it's only been out for a couple of months and it's already holding over 200 plus players. It's a mix between pre-EOC content and old school RuneScape content. It has like everything you could ask for, which is super neat in my opinion. I haven't experienced any of that in a really long time, so that's probably the reason we are holding over 200 plus players as I speak. Right off the bat, you are going to notice that the home area is super active active and the reason for that is everything you need is pretty much at the home area including shops and some AF cable things I'll mention more about that here in a moment but just here in the bank alone we have player owned shops so you can buy and sell items it's a way quicker way to do that instead of having to stand at home and just saying buying and selling and spamming the yell chat I really do appreciate owners that implement the player owned shop we have the donation shop one through three and of course some other shops like a trivia point shop we have the max so you can't come talk to him when you want to max out the bossing point shop which is really unique because you can earn bossing points for bossing and you can come here and spend them here uh, and you can also buy a blowpipe which is only 500 bossing points which really that doesn't even seem that expensive outside the bank here you'll be able to find all of your necessities like magic range melee you have your cook pure supplies the lisa so if you want like some cosmetic gear or whatever disco robe you know some smexy stuff make your character look a little juicy we have the Mandrith, I'm pretty sure this is where you can uh, sell bounty hunter artifacts, buy PvP sets, show PvP stats, and open the PK point store. So that's the PK point store. Okay, oh, damn. Juiciness, a Zarath bow, Armadil God Sword, a Team Cape Eye, Robin Hood hat. Okay, this is really interesting. Uh, I'm pretty sure PKing is very active because there are some juicy items in here. As said before, we do have OSRS content, and with that always comes the Inferno. You can find the Inferno right in the middle of the home area. Oh, don't worry. We will meet again. Like I said about the AFKing, we have a Christmas AFK tree. This tree gets spawned at three different coordinates in Edgeville, and it's allowed to AFK with max one account. It's a great way to make money while being AFK, and I've never seen this before, ever. Okay, look how many people are here smacking this tree down like, Bruh, okay, make that money, boys. Right now, I do want to go around and show you guys some of our bosses and other things. But first, I want to show you the gear I am wearing. I am wearing, like, the best range gear in game, which is the full Pernix set, the Angelic Boots, the Ring of Bosses, Flame Gloves, Twisted Bow, Split Dragon Tooth Necklace, and Vorkath Cape, which you can get from Vorkath himself. And that gives me a total of 394 range bonus. Like, damn. Let's just take a quick look at all the bosses we have. We have Slash Bash. Tormented Demons, Bork Cave, Barrel Chest Area, Dagonoff Kings, of course, we have the Gobwars Dungeon, Frost Dragons, and that's in the original bosses. We even have bosses too, which are like the more advanced bosses, the more OP bosses. The Phoenix Cave, Bandos Avatar, Glacier's Cave, Venonatus, so we have some Wilderness bosses, Abyssal Sire, Skatiza Boss, Kraken, Giant Mola, Cerberus Cave, Next Dungeon, and of course, the Vorkath Island. If you didn't know, right now I am at Vorkath, and you do want to miss all them splats. It's really hard to just stay in one spot while killing Vorkath. Oh my god. Jesus. You do not want to stand on any of these either because they're like acids. They'll fuck you up. But if you haven't noticed yet, I am pretty terrible at it. This is my first one to do. Hopefully, I can even kill him once. I do know exactly how it works, though, so I might catch on pretty quick. As I say that, I get smacked to 60. Holy fuck. Don't, don't, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, my God. He was so close to dying. Oh, that's annoying. So, the tactic that seemed to work for me really well is attack him two times and then run. And you'll see that every time he shoots an attack at you, it'll hit behind you where you were before. I just killed him, and I got myself a superior dragon bone. Some coins, room bar, room square shield. Make sure if you are wanting to find out the drops of any boss to use the command colon colon drops. If you use this, it'll bring up an interface here where you can go to any boss you want 
and it'll show you what they drop. And if you want a faster way, you can do colon colon git drop and just search up any boss you want, for instance, for Kath, and it'll bring up another interface only showing the drops from that certain NPC. For instance, that Vorkath, we can get the Vorky, Vorkath stuff head, a sky blue H Wing mask, a graceful cape, and a lot of other really nice goodies because, I mean, it is Vorkath. Guys, one of the most popular and the most active bosses in the game is Colon Colon Warmonger. We are killing it right now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get a drop because I kinda showed up a little late. Oh, I did get something. Morgan's throwing axes, okay. Mystic hat, got some coins, really nice, but what what did other people get? Not really too sure if anybody got a rare. The reason I feel like this boss is so popular is because look at all the rewards you can receive here. Such a wide variety. You can get the full Slayer helmet. It just goes on for days. You can get Ranger Boots, Black Age Swing, Pegasians, Eternal. We can get Primordials. We can get Amulet of Fury, Ring of Gods, Karasi Swords, Black Party Hat, Abyssal Vine, Dragonkin Lamp, Death Cape, Zarith Bow, Black Santa Hat, and at the very bottom down here, we can get the Toxic Staff of the Dead, including just like so much supplies. Look at all the supplies. Something else I really love about this server, if you come inside the bank and right click the bank, you will see a view presets. If you come up here to the view presets, you can customize your own presets and save them. You can do prayers, spells, whatever you want, and you can have your own presets. So you don't have to go to the bank every single time and just have to find all this gear. You can just have your presets ready. It's an easy and fast way to go bossing and PKing. We might as well test out the Inferno. I mean, why not? Okay, I'd just smack my ass getting in here. I'm pretty sure it's like on the final form at the very beginning. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, he's ready for me. Let's go. I feel like I'm gonna get smacked so hard, but I mean, it might be easy. He seems like he might be easy, but later on I feel like something's gonna happen. Yep. Are his minions gonna help him? Yep, the minions are coming. I knew they were I knew these were here for something. I was like, why are the these minions just standing here for no reason? I know they're here for something. Oh my god, they are crushing me, boy. Calm down. Oh, okay, well, uh, the Christmas tree is now at a new location, and the boys are still grinding. As you can see down here in my inventory, I do have some of these NY Lucky Stars. Each of these go for $3 in-game, and they give some really great loot. I'm going to find out for myself right now what kind of great loot we can get. I'm going to open up 150 of them, so good luck to me. Come on, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We just got a blue party hat. Yo, that is so sick. I just received a blue party hat on like my fifth one, and I'm pretty sure that's like the rarest item we could get out of there. Come on, let's just finish off this inventory now. A Vesta Spear Ring of Vigor. We are spamming this chat here, and it shows all the rares like the full Slayer helmet, blue party hat, chaotic longsword. I mean, the second inventory isn't too bad, but it's nothing like that first one we had. We got a gold bag, 21 mil inside. Okay, a mystery box. What are we going to get out of here? A dragon. Battle Axe. All right, let's get it. Cleveland said, I'll buy that split tooth off you for 850 mil right now. Oh my, okay, so I just got an 850 mil reward. I get way too excited during openings. I just really enjoy seeing all this sick loot we're getting. Berserk Ring Eye, Ring of Wealth, 500 Revenant Ethers, Abyssal Whip, another gold bag. Okay, 11 mil inside this one. Let's spam the rest of this inventory. Okay, we got a third age range Quayef. Our first uh, third age item. Okay, and that is a rare. Down to our final like 75 of these to go a legendary mystery box okay a dragon fire shield and eh, not the best a ruby boltsy armadillo chain skirt bandos task sets and a chaotic mall okay i haven't seen any more party hats oh as i say that as i say that we get a yellow party hat oh yeah now that is beautiful these boxes are so op i just got a dragon kite shield and a chaotic rapier back to back on my final inventory including four different Bandos chest plates, a Vesta spear, Steph ass boots, and all these other rewards. Bro, all I can say about these boxes is OP. This is everything we received out of 150 of the NY Lucky Stars. I got extremely lucky with a yellow party hat and blue party hat, including the split dragon tooth necklace. And on my final inventory, I got a dragon kite shield and a chaotic rapier back to back. Not only that, I got multiple bandos sets, multiple armadillo sets, a lot of chaotic items, just so many really juicy items that would sell for a lot of money in games. So yeah, with that being said, I would definitely recommend trying out these boxes and not only that this server in general this server has only been out for a little while and it already has over 200 plus players online keep that in mind if it's already attracting 200 plus players think about how many more it could attract make sure and come check it out today just take my word for it there's so much to do here and the community is great any of the staff members will reply to you as well we have a very active staff team down here in my inventory don't forget i am giving away two $100 scrolls to two lucky winners, so all you have to do to enter is follow the rules on the screen. Like the video, comment down below your simplicity, IGN, and subscribe to the channel. 
Also, if you would turn on the post notification bell to never miss an upload or new video. With that being said, I will be online as soon as this video goes up, so make sure and come by and say hello and goodbye.